Welcome to the mountain, my friends. In this video, we're gonna take a look at another option, potentially, for welding together the seams of this architectural fabric that is PVC coated mesh. It's the same stuff used on the roof of the Denver airport. When I created the cover for this geodesic dome, I heat welded it together using a heat gun. The results are functional. It's not super pretty. And after seeing the video where I created the cover, a good friend of mine, Donnie, recommended using shower pan liner adhesive. Maybe that'll work. So here I've got OD X15 shower pan liner adhesive, specially formulated for bonding PVC sheeting. And then I've got two little scraps of the architectural fabric. The instructions on this stuff say it's very temperature sensitive. Store and use at temperatures between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I can tell you this has gone through quite a few days where it's been left outside. I mean, pretty much all we have out here is outside. And it's gotten below freezing, so if it fails, that might be a reason why. Let's see here. Stir and shake before using. Do not thin. Clean dirt and grease water. Did that. Apply an even coating of adhesive with a brush or dauber using a two inch overlap on each surface. For best instant strength on contact, allow coating to dry for a minimum of one to three minutes in hot weather and six to eight minutes in cold weather before joining. This stuff has a super shiny side and a slightly less than shiny side. Uh, so we will, I guess, just kind of overlap it so that way the shiny side stays out and yeah. That. Allow a coating to dry for a minimum of one to three minutes, then immediately apply some weight after joining using a two by four piece of wood over the freshly bonded seam and hold downward pressure for 15 to 30 seconds. I don't have much two by four, but I have a lot of one by two from building the outhouse. I should have grabbed gloves. All right, two inch overlap. That is a big dauber. This stuff looks like it's radioactive. Allow it to dry for one to three minutes. All right, that's been more than a minute and less than three. So, two inch overlap. Uh oh, all right, whatever. Downward pressure. Oh, that's it's slippy. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten tiny turtles in the telephone. Good handling strength will develop in approximately one minute. Bonding strength will be good in one hour and excellent in 12 hours. Well, it's not falling right apart, so that's a good sign. It's right after pressing it. Radioactive. Hey, all right. That is promising. Let's check back in tomorrow, I guess. All right, so let's pretend it's the next day. It's not, it's like a week later, but. Uh, so here we go. This is all dry and it is super strong. I mean, this is even stronger than when I had heat welded it together. Uh, there was a section where I'd heat welded it and I was able to, by trying to separate it this way, uh, actually pull it apart and then heat welded it back together. This. This is stronger than the heat well, so that is awesome. It was also way easier uh, and possibly less expensive considering I was using a 1500 watt heat gun for a month. I don't know what the power cost on that was, but uh, yeah. So anytime I need to be joining, oh, that feels a little thick too. Interesting. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, okay. So just a little bit there where I didn't get the glue all the way but but yeah any projects going forward uh, I'm gonna be using this glue instead of the heat gun very nice